we know your thoughts on what the Deputy Sports Minister Joseph Yamin has said about government sponsorship in a minute. A minute government each. sponsorship of supporters to go and chair the Black Stars. He says majority of them, he doesn't want to be a hypocrite, majority of them will be NDC members because they MPP deserve MPP. to gain some benefit from the government they have put in power. You say he should be sacked. Why? Well, it was an opinion I expressed, <laughs> not an advice or an order to the president. <laughs> it's within the president's prerogative to do what he wants to do, considering the implications. But I don't think I stand alone in the critical reaction that has come relative to what the deputy minister said. And I find it so interesting that on the same day, Friday, June 13, 2014, the Daily Graphic and the, the Ghanaian Times. Times carried <laughs> editorials of a similar tone. Right. You know, and I yeah, find it sure interesting. I whisper to them? It says, <laughs> in spite of the national support accorded the Black Stars, the statement by the Deputy Minister further demonstrates the deep-seated division in our society. Mr. Yamin's disclosure is unnecessary and a threat to national unity and cohesion. This okay. is Daily Graphic. Okay. They entreated him never again to politicize the pa only pastime that makes all of us truly Ghanaian. Right. Ghanaian Times says we need to unite as a people and relegate all petty squabbles and differences with the tendencies, with tendencies of affecting the psychic and stability of the nation to the background. Mm. The deputy minister's statement is in bad taste and must not be countenanced in any form. Mm. It must be treated <laughs> with the disdain and contempt it deserves. We should all be careful with the statement and utterances we make in public in order to preserve the unity of the country. I do not stand alone in terms of the critical reaction to the gaff that the minister put out there. Dr. Park, what he's talking about, he says he doesn't want to be a hypocrite. There are those who say, yes, he's being plain about the situation. Why not? We know that it's a, a system of political patronage. Well, I think that uh, the reaction uh, is rather surprising. I wouldn't have thought that... Uh, his comments would have attracted that uh, level of uh, condemnation. Uh, largely because when I listen to the voice being played, and I hear that he had made those comments some two, three months ago, uh, and I actually failed to understand why uh, some media houses thought it prudent uh, to bring those comments uh, to being. But, but he's, at, he at, has at subsequently at, reinforced at, 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 and at defended this, it. At this yeah. present, at this present now, time. Now, in recent times. Uh, but when I listen to the voice, he was not making an exclusive case to say that only NDC supporters yeah, were But that's going not the issue. The it's issue a majority. Is majority. Support. Majority will be. Well, and that is perhaps where uh, maybe uh, we should have sought clarification mm -hmm. from him. Should what he means by. He's clarified it. It could maybe be the president plus who is one preaching all, all inclusive or 25. Shouldn't the president who is preaching the all inclusiveness. Why, why are you suffering like that? Percent. Why are you suffering like that? I think the president is preaching on his all inclusiveness. Re uh, the reaction is not my prerogative. I don't have the power to tell the president, the president what to do. You don't think it's in bad taste? I wouldn't tell the president what to do. No, you don't think it's in bad taste? Well, personally, I think that if you look at the statement he made within the context and where he made it in response to a question, quite clearly, I think that the reaction is overstretched. You haven't answered that. You haven't answered my question. Is it not in bad taste? I am not obligated to answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something, so yes, yes. No, I, think, I think that, you see, the minimum that this government can do is to sack Minister Yamin because they need to demonstrate to the nation that they are committed to the unity of this nation. They are committed to this is not the worst we have heard from no, no, this, this, no, no, let, let, me, let, me, let me land. This is not the worst we have no, heard from No, let me land. Minister. The government was very decisive in sacking... Victoria Hammer. Now, for seeking, for, for putting out there that she perhaps was more interested in herself and amassing wealth than maybe serving the nation, let's say. You are decisive. Now, is what Minister Yamin saying not worse than the taped recording of uh, and, and the former minister? And you quickly move to something. So you don't see the mischief. Okay. Yes. No, 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 it's, okay. it's about Mr. national Mr. unity and cohesion. Okay, it should be sacked. Gentlemen, thank you, Mr. Aikotu. A Let's demonstration say. from yourself well, that you're committed. The, the general view is that it is condemnable. Mm. Everybody says he did not speak well. So we would call upon him to apologize, withdraw those words, 
and, and let's for let's you that should be progress. sufficient. Too you late. should just apologize and redo well, the words. If, if the president just about two days ago, two days ago, he was defending it. Well, these are all well, the problems when the gods want to destroy you. They first make you something. Or it's a case of bitch. Very interesting. Uh, this show, News File, has been brought to you by the kindest sponsorship of Bank of Africa, as strong as a group and as close as a partner. Irata Motors, the best vehicles, at the best prices. Star uh, Assurance, that is your solid partner. Vitel Mineral Water, your new experience. Mineral Water, Sasso Mosquito Repellent, Kumuntuntum Preco. MTN, welcome to the new world, and ZipNet, simply reliable. I am Samson Ladi Ayenini. Um, the show was produced by Sedemo Fori with support from Nicolas Opuni and Samuel Dami, as well as uh, Emmanuel Ante. My guests have been Abdul Malik Kubaku Jr., editor in chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper, Ni Ama Akonfra, communications director, the Convention People's Party. Dr. Clement Park, Presidential Staffer, Office of the President, and the Honorable Ni Ayikwe Otu, former Attorney General and a legal practitioner who is the, uh, who chairs the NPP's uh, Constitutional uh, Committee. Have a good afternoon.